Terra. We're blasting through. Roger that. Hold on, Yodaka. Settle down, you two. You won't be able to do anything if you're dead. Rushing in heedlessly isn't the way. Right, First Star? Right. Are you also in agreement, Master Terra? Yeah. Just a little heated is all. Adjusting target. Let's blast through these dark years and head after Luna. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Ready to shop. Do what I can to protect the universe. Got it. Damn. Impossible. Let's get started. Sun and Mercury here, now arriving at the target point. Asterism will assist by engaging in combat. Seriously? How did you let the original one get stolen by relayers? Absolutely pathetic. Sun, Mercury, you made it. Sorry for the holdup, Himiko. You handled the Astoria surprisingly well for someone with no experience. We'll take it from here. Hey, Sun, mind calling the shots? Not at all. We finally get to face these relayers. Not gonna let all this training go to waste. That won't work. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. There. 
Try not to get burnt. Too slow. Useless! I'm the only Mercury. No one can replace me. Terra, rub. Settle down, you two. Stella Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. Proceed. Done and Moving out. A careless! A heavy damage sustained. I'm in trouble. How's this? Let's get started. You're finished! Moving out. In. Sorry. Try not to get burnt. You're done. I pride myself on flawless work. Bye, 
been hit. Move out. Take that. Moving out. The boy calls. That one got me. Hit me dead on. <laughs> Try not to get burnt. Terra, we're blasting through. Roger that. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Ready to shut. Ready to shine. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. The first star is ready to shine. The 
Relic Eristoria. Ready to blaze trails. Try not to get burnt. This'll help. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. I'm taking action. Back you up. Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to place trails. Moving out. The boy calls. What me? <laughs> Try not to get burnt. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Got you. Damn. Impossible. I pride myself on flawless work. Leave it to me. Move out. You're finished. You're built different. Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. No dice. That me? Try not to get burnt. You down. Hit me? Now clear the way! Are you hit him? What? Uh... I underestimated these backwater creatures. To the defeated commander, we are prepared to make a generous proposal. If you agree to surrender, I'm sure you're not eager to die in this backwater. Trust humans to act like they've already won the war. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Farewell, humans. You pitiful prisoners of gravity. Impossible! No way. They... self-destructed? Well, the taking of one's own life should never be lauded. This intel should prove valuable to us. Let's be sure to make use of it. Unfortunately, their explosive end bought the Relayer ship enough time to escape. Shouldn't be hard to imagine they'd head to the next sector. The Debris Field. Several years ago, two nations engaged in the first space war over resources in that sector. All gears, return to ship. The asterism will resume pursuit into the debris field once you're docked. <sighs> I guess it's hard to get back, but you want to let go. I've leveled up.
We're back. In one piece, no less. You have my gratitude for your service, my lady. You as well, Dark Walker. This is the gear you wanted, right? I mean, it's the only one they had, so... Indeed it is. I could never forget this detestable font of pure misery. You were of great help to us, Lady Luna. But you would do well not to let your personal issues interfere again. If you ever act contrary to our will again, you will be at the mercy of my judgment. I swear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Any progress on Terra's background? Nope. No family records, no DNA on file, nothing. I'm not even sure her real name is Terra. All we know is that she was living in some place called the House of Stars with her sister until the gravity loss. After losing her sister, she spent some time traveling Japan and other countries. Ended up in Artemis and here she is now. We know everything she's done after the gravity loss, but no clue about before that. She's really a mystery. Her background is concerning. But her sister's involvement with Relayers is just bizarre. Please continue investigating. Don't even have to ask. That's what I do. By the way, what happened to the original one? We just got word from the Asterism a moment ago. It's been taken into the debris field. The Relayers flee in a Herschel-class cruiser. The Asterism continues to pursue. In any case, it's no small feat they were able to confirm the effectiveness of our Stellar Gears against the Dark Gears. Aren't you asking too much of the Asterism? I think this may be a bridge too far. We don't have any other options. Reinforcements and supplies are on their way. I just hope they get there in time. I hope they can push through. Need something?
Oh, it's you. How can I help you? Go 
What can I do for you?
Morning. Did you get enough sleep last night? Good to see you two. You really helped us out. We happen to be training in the next sector over. We heard the original one was stolen and came right away. The four of you are all the firepower we've got for now. Son, you're a platoon leader. I can do that. But are you sure? Isn't the first star, Himiko, the better choice? <sighs> Hard pass. I'm no good at giving orders. Yeah, because you've never even tried. You just need experience. Well, maybe right now isn't the best time for on-the-job training. I'll gladly watch you and learn. Have we determined the Relayer ship's route? The Netherworld is still searching, but there aren't a lot of escape routes available to a cruiser. Then it's just a matter of time. Uh, what's Netherworld? Is it some kind of system or software? My apologies for not telling you before. Netherworld is the main computer that runs the Asterism. It oversees the ship's navigation, offensive and defensive systems, and maintains data links between gears. If Netherworld is the mainframe, does that make you its flesh and blood housing unit, Pluto? As I explained before, I'm kind of a unique star child. The will of my star resides within my artificial intelligence. I have never heard of any artificial intelligence that was able to replicate a human personality. Which is to say, I had no idea you were not actually human. Did the will of the stars bring this to pass? No. Even they lacked the power to grant an AI a soul. My psyche was copied from the brain of a boy. It's essentially a replicated personality. Though I have come to find that these thoughts and emotions of mine are not mere copied data. I've seemingly created my own soul. I see. How utterly fascinating. From my perspective, I find you equally fascinating. Both of us exist right at the border of man and machine. I would love to learn more about you. Will you be my friend? You flatter me. Huh. Of course I will. I look forward to getting to know you. Likewise, Pluto. That's great, Yudaka. You made a new friend. <sighs> oh, hey! While we're here, let's get this out of the way. Medea, is it ready? Of course. All ready to go. Mind taking your clothes off for me real quick, Tara? Come again? What do you think? I've never worn anything like this before, so... I'm worried it might not be flattering. Oh, don't be silly! The uniform looks great on you, Tara. A suggestion, if I may. Why don't we all take a picture with you in your new uniform? Oh, great idea. Let me take it. No thanks. I'm good. Why so shy, Mercury? Come on. Hey, stop pulling on me. Let's get in there, too. Uh, okay. Everyone ready? Say cheese. What are you doing, collaborator? Getting ready for the next fight. Can't go out with the original one all beat up like this. You think they're after us? Their ship seemed pretty fast. I'd say so. But the fact that it didn't attack us back there probably means that it's not equipped for battle. Oh, <laughs> that's right. 
GT Labs isn't authorized by the military to have warships. It's just transport for those new quasars. Shouldn't we be the ones going after them? No. Those aren't quasars. They're stellar gears. Weapons. Used by an ancient galactic civilization we annihilated a hundred million years ago. What you call the original one is one such weapon. I saw it once during that war a hundred million years ago. They were used by those housing the Will of the Stars back then, too. <laughs> what? You're that old? Could have fooled me. A matter of perspective. Our concept of time differs from yours. This alternate perception of time is sometimes a prison to us. To use the language of this reality, it is a time prison. A time prison? Huh. But we now have the key. All that's left to do is remove it from the box. Then, my ascension to Exalted God Relayer will be complete. Tara! <laughs> there you are. Hey, Yumiko. Any updates on the Relayer ship? Still nothing, unfortunately. I see. Would you mind helping me out with some work real quick? I'm kind of surprised you meant you needed help peeling vegetables. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't mind at all. I just figured food on a ship like this would all be rations and retort pouches. Are you in charge of peeling veggies? <laughs> on a ship, you have to make good use of any downtime. I've been in space so long, this kind of work has become meditative. Kimiko used to cuff her fingers and bleed all over the potatoes when she was starting out. She's gotten a lot better. Uh, Medea, shouldn't you be on the bridge? Ah, uh, Pluto's taking care of things. Captain told me to take a break. <laughs> and I realized we never even told Terra about our organization. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to do so. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. But I'll start by explaining about the Asterism. The Asterism is owned by the Gravity Technology Development Organization, GT Labs, which was founded by the United Earth Government. They research gravity tech use in space exploration and colonization, right? Right. But that's just a front. It was actually created by the United Earth Government to defend the Milky Way from the Relayer invasion. We have three main objectives. The first is to prepare for the invasion by locating those who possess the will of the stars. The second is to train those star children to be pilots. The third is to evaluate the experimental supergravity vessel, Asterism. That was the plan, anyway. But now we have to deal with this original one thing, too. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, what is the original one? I can tell it's really important, but other than that... I'll field that question. Captain! What about the bridge? Is anyone there? Things were pretty dull. Pluto's on it. I guess that should be okay. At least, I hope so. To answer your question about the original one, it all started several decades back, when a meteorite hit Antarctica. GT Lab's predecessors dispatched researchers to investigate the site. And instead of a big rock, what they found was a humanoid weapon. The original one. Bingo. And they learned of the Relayer plot to destroy the universe via data found stored in the gear. So the UEG established GT Labs to counter the Relayer threat, and use technology from the original one to develop our very own stellar gears. To sum things up, that gear contained the technology of an advanced alien civilization, 
as well as data pertaining to the relayers. To my understanding, the technology from the original one was also used to build the orbital elevator and orbital ring. So that is the secret history behind the advent of Earth's space exploration age. This is fascinating beyond words. All right, well, I think we've talked long enough. Should be about time. About time? If my hunch is correct, we should locate the enemy ship any second now. What's going on? Pluto, what happened? It would appear they found us before we could find them. They beat us to the punch. Stellar gear pilots to your stations. Deploy when ready. Terra, let's go. Okay. Gears deployed. All gears, move to intercept. I don't see the original one. Maybe Luna's not out here. I detect one quasar among the enemy gears. I suspect she may be piloting it. Yeah. Luna must be in there. There's no way she'll listen to me at this point. We'll have to disable her gear first. That's the one. I knew my sister would poke her head out. This time, I'll be sure to finish her off. Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. Follow my lead. Taking action. Moving out. A careless move. What a different. Have I been hit? The first star is ready to shine. Relayers have no place in our universe. I'm the only Mercury. No one can replace me. Moving out. Yeah! Just a scratch. Who wants to die? I've got range. Just a scratch. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Try not to get burnt. Don't resist! A direct hit! On me? The first star is ready to shine. Come on! Mercury. No one can replace me. Move it! Take me 
get on. Impossible. I'm taking heavy damage. Crashing the burn. Just a scratch. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Found ya, sis. Luna, you won't get away this time. She means business, Master Terra. Do be careful. I hear that guy again. Protect! A direct hit! On me? Ugh. Not bad, sis. Not bad. Ugh. I can't believe you got me. I feel like I've grown stronger. I feel like I've grown some. Damn it! I hate you. I'll kill you and be done with it. Right here, right now! Luna! No way! A direct hit? Ah! She's not moving. I can't believe this. Guess this gear's just no match for yours. Should I be thanking you for sparing my life? Give up and surrender, Luna. We won't hurt you. Sorry to burst your bubble. But don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself with just four years there? Oh no. We've drifted too far from the asterism. And now... It's go time, Walker baby. As you command. Our engine has taken a hit! We can't maintain speed! We won't be able to move at all if this keeps up. They really got us good. Call everyone back here. Damn it! Some pursuit this turned out to be. Engine destroyed as commanded. Shouldn't we finish it off? The main engine is enough for now. I'm falling back. Understood. Oh, no, you don't. I got you. You're not going anywhere, Luna. <laughs> what the hell? I thought you went back to your ship. I'm taking you aboard the Asterism. We're gonna sit down and have a nice long talk. If you're still mad at me over what happened that day, I'll apologize as many times as you need me to. So, sis, are we really family? Do you really love me? Do you promise to never let me go again? <sighs> Luna! I promise. No matter what, I'll never let go of your hand again. Let's be sisters again. Be sisters again? Okay. I believe you. I'll trust you, sis. Just don't lie to me again. I won't. She bailed out of her gear? Walker! Grab her! As you command. No! Terra! Get away from that gear right now! But... I can't get away! Master Terra, no! <laughs> Terra! <sighs> that idiot! What was she thinking? Terra, come in! Terra, can you hear me? Don't worry about me. Thank goodness you're alive. Tara, please fall back. But Luna is... Calm down, Tara. There's no way you can pursue her in that condition. You need to take care of yourself first. You're right. Himiko, can you tow her in? No problem. What about you? 
The asterism just lost mobility. Mercury and I will patrol the area just to be safe. <sighs> What's gonna happen to our recovery effort? It's ultimately up to GT Labs HQ. But my guess is that they'll put it on hold. Darn. Guess that didn't do it. I thought for sure that would kill her. Oh well. <laughs> guess I'll let you skulk away. But next time I see you, you're dead. Sis. And that's the current situation. Understood. We'll take over the search for the rogue relayer ship from here. <laughs>